Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a pretty cool text effect. We, as an engraver, we don't get to play around with this type of stuff, but you could possibly do this for a t-shirt or a hat. So I thought I'd just recreate it, show you how I did it. I'm gonna pick Impact, which is a pretty good font. And then I'm gonna take the Shape tool, and I'm gonna squeeze the letters in. Then I'm going to control K and break the letters apart. And then I'm going to select it and I'm going to go up to the transparency tool and pick this one right here, which is uniform transparency. And what that did that allowed you to see the overlapping letters. So now we can take the whole thing, go to object and convert it to a curve. And then we can play with the nodes. And this is where your artistic ability would show up in what you want to do with it. And uh, I'm not going to take a lot of time because you can kind of see uh, what I did in the first one, you know, make the K kind of elongated. And this is where the transparency tool helps you because you, you can actually see that part of the K. And then if you wanted to, we could actually make this whole thing lighter just by uh, well, it's too light. And then that way you can see, you can double click, you can see your nodes a lot better. And we're gonna get the shape tool again. And we're gonna double click and put like three nodes. And what that did by giving us a center node, we can take away some of the letter. And I'm not gonna do a lot of effects, but just double click and it's adding nodes. And you can play around with that You have to have kind of three nodes to make it, and then you can move the nodes closer or whatever you want to do, make it longer, make them further apart. And you can do a lot with this. Now, we are going to get the interactive fill tool, and we're going to go right up the middle, and we're going to pick yellow for the top. We're going to pick red for the bottom, and you can see the transparency it's kind of taking effect. If you want more yellow or more uh, red, you can use a slider bar. You can actually double click on that and you can actually use this window right here and go, we want another yellow and then it'll be really yellow. And then that way we could move the orange up a little bit or back down and we could add another orange. Or red. And then it doesn't look all that good, but then go back to your transparency tool and go right here and take the transparency away. Well, we have to click on it, select it all, go to the transparency tool, take the transparency away and look at the difference. Now go to your pen tool, pick a color black. And if you move this out of the way, you can actually see it happen. We're gonna go like, uh, 20 points or whatever. I mean, and that's pretty cool effect already. Now, if you control G and group it together, you can get the block shadow effect and put a little depth to your black. Now, when you did that, you, you've kind of made the, I'm trying hard, I'm getting a pen tool. So you've got a drop shadow on this black. So if we would back up and take our node. Well, we're going to have to ungroup it. Go up to, got to make sure you you grabbed it, ungroup it, and then we could we could move these back, you know, further down, so we have a little bit more uh, play with it. And I'm not saying that's perfect, but then take your block shadow. we got to group it back together, control G, and then just kind of move it just a little bit. And you could play around with this. You could actually kind of see 
So that's a text effect. Pretty cool if you're going to print that. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.